Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're diving into the latest tech and gaming news, from Intel's new processors and G-Skill's record-breaking RAM to exciting updates from the Halo universe. All this and more coming up, so stay tuned on Edge Runners. First up, Intel has unveiled its new Core Ultra 200S processors, part of the Arrow Lake S family, designed for next-gen desktop computers. The flagship model, the Core Ultra 9285K, is a powerhouse with 24 cores, 8 performance and 16 efficiency cores, along with 24 threads. This chip can reach clock speeds of up to 5.7 GHz and has a TDP range of 125 to 250 watts. It also features an impressive 36 MB of L3 cache and 40 MB of L2 cache, all priced at $589. Intel claims these processors utilize advanced technologies, offering a 9% increase in IPC for Lion Cove cores and a staggering 32% boost for SkyMont cores. In real-world terms, the Core Ultra 9 285K promises the same performance as the i9-14900K but consumes an average of 73 watts less power. That's a huge leap in efficiency. Moreover, the Core Ultra 200S series includes an NPU, providing 13 tops for AI tasks and integrated EXE LPG graphics with 4 EXE cores. Expect to see these chips hit the market on October 24th. Shifting gears to G-Skill, there are intriguing developments regarding their Kudim standard memory kits. Although no official announcements have been made yet, the company has been sending out RAM sets for review, including the Trident Z5 Kudim DDR5 memory kit. This kit features two 24GB modules with a data transfer rate of 8200 megatransfers per second. However, industry insiders suggest G-Skill might have even faster kits in the pipeline. Kudim RAM's standout feature is its built-in clock driver, allowing for higher speeds than what a standard standard memory controller typically supports. With existing QDIM RAM kits already exceeding 9,000 mega transfers per second, it's exciting to see how G-Skills offerings will stack up once officially announced. Next, we have some big news from the Halo universe. Pierre Hintze, head of 343 Industries, has announced a rebranding of the studio to Halo Studios. This comes alongside a ramp up in recruitment for several new projects within the Halo franchise. In an exciting twist, future Halo games will be developed using Unreal Engine 5, promising enhanced graphics and simplified development. During a recent technical demonstration dubbed Project Foundry, the team hinted at what fans can expect in terms of quality and performance. Daniel Henley from Halo Studios stated, the Halo Halo franchise has set the standard for graphics, and that's what Halo must become again. While the last installment, Halo Infinite, had its ups and downs, updates are still on the horizon, ensuring the franchise remains alive and kicking. Intel's new Core Ultra 200K processors come with a notable design change, a shifted hotspot location. To accommodate this, MSI is planning to release a new mounting kit for liquid cooling systems. According to HKEPC, this updated kit can lower CPU temperatures by up to 3 degrees Celsius, with the MSI Mag Coreliquid i360 being the first to feature it. For those with existing MSI Mag Coreliquid i360 coolers, you can request the updated kit from authorized resellers. The hotspot shift was initially brought to light by overclocker Der Bauer, who shared comparative images showing the change in hotspot location. This could be crucial for enthusiasts looking to maximize cooling performance in their builds. Switching gears to NVIDIA, WCCF Tech has reported exciting details about the upcoming GeForce RTX 50 series graphics cards based on the new Blackwell architecture. Set to be officially announced at CES 2025, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang will present this lineup on January 6th. Expect to see the flagship RTX 5090 alongside the RTX 5080 and the more budget-friendly RTX 5070. The RTX 5070 will utilize the GB205 chip and come with 12GB of GDDR7 memory Memory, boasting a memory bandwidth of 672 gigabytes per second. That's a 33% increase over the current RTX 4070. Although full specs are still under wraps, insiders suggest it may have up to 6,400 CUDA cores, though a cut-down version could be on the table. Blizzard has just announced a major expansion for Diablo 4, titled Vessel of Hatred. The launch was delayed by a few hours due to technical issues, but fans can now explore the new region known as the Nahanth Jungle. Here players will face off against the Lord of Hatred, Mephisto. A notable addition is the new playable class, Spirit Binder, which allows players to summon Spectral Guardians to aid them in battle. Plus, there's a new dungeon called the Dark Citadel, perfect for group play. The expansion is priced at $40, and alongside it, the main game received a substantial patch to Point zero, tweaking gameplay mechanics and increasing the maximum character level. 
Switching gears, some exciting news from the tech world. Rumors have been swirling that Nvidia and MediaTek are collaborating to develop a new ARM-based processor, and it seems like we might see it hit the market as early as next year. According to reports from WCCF Tech, this chip is set to launch in the second quarter of 2025, targeting the burgeoning AI PC market. Major laptop manufacturers like Lenovo, Dell, HP, and Asus are already expressing interest, with plans to release products featuring this processor immediately upon its debut. This could change the game in the competitive landscape of AI-driven computing. Now let's talk about graphics cards. According to a report from Video Cards, citing insider Huang An Pu, AMD is working on a new mid-range graphics card in the Golden Rabbit Edition lineup called the Radeon RX 7650. This card is expected to be officially unveiled at CES 2025, marking the second GRE GPU based on the RDNA 3 architecture, following the RX 7900 GRE. While the exact specifications of the Radeon RX 7650 GRE are still unknown, it is speculated to fill the market gap between the RX 7700 XT and the RX 7600 XT. Initially, the card is expected to be available only in China, similar to previous AMD GPUs with the GRE designation. However, there's a possibility that it may eventually be sold in other markets, as was the case with the Radeon RX 7900 GRE. In horror game news, Konami has announced the release of the Silent Hill 2 remake for PC and the Sony PlayStation 5. The game is available for download on the digital distribution service Steam and the PlayStation Store. For PlayStation 5, it is also offered in physical format. Silent Hill 2 Remake is a modern adaptation of the iconic Silent Hill 2, originally released in 2001 for the PlayStation 2. The story follows the main character, James, who arrives in the town of Silent Hill after receiving a letter from his deceased wife. Customers who purchased the deluxe edition had access to the remake two days prior to the general release. Early reviews from both critics and players are already circulating online, with praise directed at the game for its adherence to the spirit of the original, its oppressive atmosphere, engaging characters, and appealing visuals. Moving on to hardware, in late August, Asus announced motherboards with upgraded NitroPath RAM slots featuring refined contacts that reduce electrical noise. This enhancement allows memory to achieve better overclocking, nearing frequencies of 10,000 MHz. Initially available on select high-end Asus motherboards with X870E and Z890 chipsets, the NitroPath slots increase RAM overclocking potential by around 400 mega transfers per second by minimizing interference from unused slots. Derbauer explored the benefits of these connectors, noting that NitroPath slots are 40% lower than standard drum slots, with shorter metal contacts bent downward to further reduce noise. This design minimizes interference, improving signal quality, particularly at high frequencies. In tests, RAM on NitroPath platforms performed better than on standard motherboards. However, the benefits are only applicable to motherboards with four DIMM slots, as those with two slots do not experience the same advantages. Fans of the Alien franchise rejoice. Creative Assembly has announced a sequel to the beloved Alien Isolation in celebration of its 10th anniversary. The game's creative director, Al Hope, confirmed on the official X channel that the sequel is already in early development. Given the recent success of the Alien franchise, this news has sparked excitement among fans. With the release of Alien Romulus being well received, it's clear the franchise is making a strong comeback, and we can't wait to see what's in store for the sequel. In another exciting development, NVIDIA has launched a new tool for creating realistic NPCs in games. The integration with Unreal Engine 5 allows studios to harness the full capabilities of the Avatar Cloud Engine in their projects. NVIDIA engineers have also showcased examples of what can be achieved with this new tool. NVIDIA Avatar Cloud Engine is a suite of AI-based technologies that enable developers to utilize neural networks to create lifelike digital characters. With Ace, games will feature intelligent NPCs that can engage in conversations with the main character, guide them through the storyline, and behave like real humans. Game developers can access this tool set through early access to the updated Unreal Engine 5 and the rendering microservice. To participate, developers need to apply via the official NVIDIA website. Activision Blizzard has unveiled the release trailer for the highly anticipated shooter Call of Duty Black Ops 6. The video showcases the storyline, gameplay footage, and snippets from various cutscenes. The plot of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is set in the early 1990s, during the collapse of the Soviet Union and the height of the Gulf War. The story centers around a team of elite operatives tasked with stopping a dangerous secret organization called Pantheon. This group has infiltrated the upper echelons of the CIA and aims to wreak havoc on the world using weapons of mass destruction. The 
development of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 was handled by studios Treyarch and Raven. The game is scheduled for release on October 25 of this year, targeting platforms including PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Xbox. In Cooling Solutions, Noctua has confirmed that all its coolers designed for the LGA 1700 socket will be compatible with Intel's new Core Ultra 200S processors, part of the Arrow Lake family, for older models lacking the right mounting hardware. Noctua will provide free mounting kits. Intel's Core Ultra 200S requires a new LGA 1851 socket, necessitating a motherboard upgrade for users transitioning to this next-gen platform. However, current Noctua cooler owners can use their LGA 1700 radiators on the new socket. Additionally, Noctua shared a roadmap indicating plans to update its cooling products and introduce new power supplies. Now let's talk about pricing. The GeForce RTX 4090, currently the fastest graphics card on the market, is expected to be replaced by the RTX 5090 at CES 2025, likely revealed by Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang. Surprisingly, even two years post-launch, the RTX 4090's price remains higher than its initial release price, reflecting a trend seen with previous flagship models like the RTX 2080 Ti and RTX 3090 series. Unlike past situations influenced by pandemic shortages or crypto mining, the RTX 4090 sustained high prices are attributed to soaring AI demand for Nvidia hardware. Currently, it's difficult to find the RTX 4090 at retail price, with an average markup of around $200. Analysts predict that prices for the upcoming RTX 5090 could reach $1,999, with the RTX 5080 priced at $1,199. Lastly, some nostalgic news for fans of Bloodborne. The remaster project of Bloodborne for PC is progressing with a strong emphasis on detail, as shown in a new video by the development team at SoftServe. The video highlights the enhancements, including the addition of point light sources to candles that significantly improve visuals alongside discussions on performance impacts. Improvements have also been made in the spirit village of Yahargul, with the team addressing existing challenges and solutions. The remaster's development has been facilitated by innovations like the Shad PS4 emulator, which has evolved from a basic loading tool to one that runs the game with enhanced resolution and performance, even on older systems with GTX 960 graphics cards. However, this hardware may soon be inadequate following the updated version's release. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. Drop a comment below on which story excited you the most. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.